Classroom management techniques, digital devices. Here are four simple techniques to use with your students as they utilize technology in the classroom. The first is called dock your device. In this technique, you teach students to place their device face down at a specific location on their desk. In this example, that is the left upper corner of their desk. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna stop you for a minute. Can you please dock your devices? Please dock your devices. Thank you. In this classroom arrangement, it is very easy for the teacher to then look down each row to ensure each student has complied with the directive. The next technique is called devices up. This is particularly useful with smaller devices as students raise the device over their head with the screen facing forward. It is important that all students comply with the command immediately. Ladies and gentlemen, devices up please, devices up. Thank you, thank you, I can see what you're all working on. Thank you very much. You may notice that this young lady hesitated before raising her device. It would be important for me to pull her aside and reinforce the need to immediately raise the device. She appeared to be on task. However, for consistency across the classroom, it is important that all students immediately raise their device facing forward so that those students who perhaps are off task do not have the opportunity to change screens to something more appropriate. The next technique is called hands up. This technique is especially useful when students are using devices and other students are not. The students will stop what they're doing and immediately raise their hands. This gives the teacher the opportunity to quickly walk around and see what all students are currently working on. Ladies and gentlemen, I need your attention for a minute, please, hands up. Thank you. The last technique is really two, and it's a tried and true management technique in the classroom. It's especially important to utilize proximity and peer pressure where technology is concerned. Studies have shown with proximity that if the teacher is near the student, the student is more likely to be on task. Peer pressure when technology is used is extremely helpful. Students want to use their technology in class and know if someone's off task, on something they're not supposed to be on, they're likely to all lose their technology rights. Here are both proximity and peer pressure in action. I see everyone's working really hard. I know your device is a real asset to you. So we're going to continue to look at definitions. Does <laughs> everyone do what you're supposed to be doing? You think about a camera here? With these techniques and any other techniques, it's important that we implement them appropriately. That means that we teach the technique explicitly and we practice, practice, practice. We need to make sure that the assignments and tasks we give our students are engaging and meaningful. We need to have clear technology expectations in our classroom and there need to be consequences should a student not follow those expectations. Most importantly, you need to find the techniques that work for you in your classroom. Choose one or two techniques, stick with them, be consistent, and technology will be beneficial to you and your students.